Four kilowatts is about average, and I'll generally say something like 14 to 18 years, and it depends on all kinds of factors, like exactly how your roof is tilted and facing. But to take the guesswork out of that, again, we use this, um, this uh, financial analysis where we plug in the specifics of the customer house, so with the shading that they have and with the tilt and so on, and I'll present a payoff graph. And that payoff graph will show for that customer in that house with the average electricity price increase that we've seen over the last five years when their payback will actually be. Another thing that we do that I put out there for interest for the customers is you can either look at payback as just coming from the electricity savings that you get <laughs> or you can look at the way home assessors do which is to say that there's value in having this energy device on your roof and the rule of thumb that they use is twenty dollars in value for every dollar of avoided cost. Now I think that number is a little bit high. That's from a 1999 assessors, national assessors document. That's how they say to treat energy saving devices. But I do a second plot here. So this is the electricity savings only. And uh, this one here on the left is including the value of the system as an asset. And so what this shows is that if you assume that you get $15 uh, in savings uh, sorry, an increased home value per dollar of savings, it says that you'll pay this system off in eight years. So in other words, the system value actually holds its value well as the price of electricity goes up over time. And so it's the kind of thing where you can take a look and say, as long as I stay in this house for eight years or more beyond this point, I've probably made my money back out of the system. Okay.